What's up guys? This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I've got a 1964 Impala sitting here. It was a four-speed car with a 350 in it. Runs and drives great. We just got back from the test drive. I want you to check them test drive videos out because they go over how the car runs and drives, all the gauges that work. We try to go over everything. That way you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. I got 100 detailed pictures of this car at maplemotors.com. Please check that out. Hit that subscribe button for now. We're gonna drop down. I'm gonna point out any kind of flaws around this car that I can find. And first off, the paint job, it's not terrible, but it's got a ton of little spots in it. A lot of little spots like that all over. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna point them all out. Hopefully I can get this done before the rainstorm hits. Looking at the front bumper and stuff, it's showing signs of wear. You can see a lot of that pitting in it. It's not a perfect front bumper. The grill is in pretty good shape though. A little oxidized. A lot of that stuff can be polished out with some chrome polish. There's a dent right here. That cannot be polished out. <laughs> There's a chip in the paint there somebody touched up. The wheels are polished, but they're oxidized really bad. They're gonna need a buffer to them does have front disc brakes looking across the hood there's quite a bit of little scratches this looks like they had stuff sitting on the car maybe see the little defects there chips chips all over it front windshield looks nice and clean i'm not seeing any scratches or chips on it a lot of the chrome trim around it looks good I couldn't get the windshield wipers to work. I was trying in the test drive video. They did not work. Seal around the front windshield looks nice and new. Our mirror's got a lot of pitting in the chrome. Let's get close to show you. Might need some new mirrors there. Our little vent window's showing some signs of wear too. Let's get down low, check out this lower part of the car. So far so good. Little scratch down here at the bottom. See some touch up paint. Light scratches there. Same in the door. A lot of those little touch up marks. I might want to spend some time touching this car up. Pitting in the door handles there. Get across the roof you can see a little oxidation in this area and a big spot of oxidation right there if i hit it just right you can see it through the clouds on the car it's got a good shine but and down in this track here a lot of little touch-ups paint imperfections oxidation popping up on the emblems more touch-up spots back bumper is the same way as the front got a lot of imperfections in it So they got a little damage going on here. A dent right here in the back. Look kind of crunched there in the corner too. A lot of this trend's in great shape though. See some more touch-ups. They left a lot of wax in this trim.
We've got some spots coming through up under that trim there. You can see the little rust. Big spot in the door here. A lot of paint touch-ups. Go ahead and pop the hood real quick. A little small block 350, non-power steering car. Does run good, nice and quiet motor. Pretty powerful for what it is. Needs a fan shroud put on it. Engine bay is nice and clean. The hood needs to be painted underneath. See, it hadn't been painted in a long time. Still got a little bit of insulation left on it. It's only one section there. <laughs> I'm going to grab the keys of the trunk. We're going to pop it. I like only having two keys. I can only mess up once. Looks like our trunk pan showing a little bit of signs of surface rust on it. Seems pretty solid still. You can just see where a little water has been down in there before. Now there's definitely, this, this pan is going to need to be replaced. You can see it now. Try to zoom y'all in on it. It's going to need a trunk pan for sure. The top part doesn't look too bad. That's usually not the issue up there. It's normally either this side or this lower part mainly, just because the water will settle down in here and it can't get out. You can see uh, pictures of the floor in this car all up underneath on my website, maplemotors.com. We're not here to hide anything. We're gonna tell you everything about them. See the weather stripping around needs to be replaced as well. It's all brittle. Trunk lid itself's in good shape. Check up in this area. It's usually a problem area. It looks pretty solid. But yeah, you'll definitely need a trunk pan. For sure. Look like a bunch of surface rust over in this area that I made my way and I seen all that, so keep that in mind. Walking up to the door panel, you can see where the normal wear is, is where everybody kicks the door panel trying to get out. So it definitely needs a panel here, or at least the lower portion, showing a little bit of signs of wear. It's probably original. Weather stripping needs to be replaced. It's not soft anymore, nice and hard. See the carpet in good shape. Looks like it's been replaced as well. The seats look good. They're not tore up. Same with the bag seat and the panels. Looking up, uh, Headliner here is getting a little water damage in the corners. Package tray definitely needs to be replaced. Look at the headliner in the middle here. It's got a few stains in it, but it's not hanging. You can just tell it's not been replaced. Hopping in the car. Horn does work. Windshield wipers do not work. Majority of our gauges under the dash, they all work. Uh, our gas gauge did work. I put $20 in it and it came up. Also, the speedometer comes up. The brake release does work as well. Car is easy to start up. Got a good sound to it. See, our temperature's right at 160. Uh, volts are at 14. 
oil pressure's at 40, and this is after the test drive. I usually do about a 30 minute test drive on all the cars. Up here, the gas gauge was at E, $20, got it almost half a tank. Showing 90,000 miles, of course the motor's been swapped out. Um, I just put the brake on. It does hold, it does work. Nice and quiet motor. We always try to check them over. The main thing I look for is that harmonic balancer's not wobbling. It's in good shape. It's smooth looking. Let's go. I appreciate y'all watching. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I post videos like this every single day. And we also got a car lot full of old classic cars. You can check us out, maplemotors.com. Get financing information, transportation information, anything you need, check it out, maplemotors.com. If you have any other questions, give us a call, 615-822-4444. I appreciate y'all watching. I'm gonna do a full lot walk around here soon gonna be today it's gonna be posted later today I wanted to get this one on I just got back from a test drive like I said a couple times in this video I want you to check it out this car does run and drive great I appreciate y'all watching and thanks again guys